Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. In this one, I want to take some plastic pegs that I've been using and turn them into stylish wooden pegs. Nice and simple, let's get on to it. Now I was given these years ago and I've appreciated them, but they do have some deficiencies which I'd like to correct. Those two holes here for, are designed for the clothesline, so they get the clothes nicely. But that means that that point there is very thin and it often slips off what I'm trying to clamp. But also, because of the flimsy nature of plastic, it, they slip sideways like that. And that's not very convenient at all. They're sort of good, but they can improve. We can improve them by making them more robust and having this flat, straight edge that will clamp nicely and I can even make them slightly wider than that so they'll be more effective in clamping what I want to clamp. Now because they're flimsy well they come to pieces very easily too and the piece that I want to use is the spring. So let's get some dimensions. Let's draw a line for the center line, place the peg on it and it's going to give us the angle that that is going out at. It also tells me where I'm going to have my, uh, my spring. That's going to be about two millimeters or a, what's that? An eighth of an inch or something. And at that angle roughly, and it's going to be about, what's that? Well, let's talk centimeters, four and a half to the spring and full length 80. Okay, with this angle here, and that's gonna be about 20, 25 at one end, about half a centimeter at the other end. The first ones I did, I got a wedge of roughly the, the right dimensions and uh, cut and split those. That's how they do them commercially. They make the wedge run a router down here, I think, to make the uh, those grooves and, the, and that end and then slice them off in pieces. However, I have run out of those and that one's not quite the dimensions that I want. A little bit deficient, so let's do them on a stick. We want basically 80 centimeters long by 25 thereabouts wide, five at the other end, get the angle and at the right place the other. Then replicate it in the other so I only have to split it down the center, chop off those two and we've got one ready to split. With another pair of wedges of the same kind I'm just going to do a pilot hole for that spring hole, make it bigger make it the size that I want it to be. Now I want them the width of that spring so I will either cut or plane or reduce them to that thickness and then I'll, I'll sand them to both level and then I'll cut off that angle there on both of them I'm going to put the spring on, now it's functional. Next with a sharp knife I'm going to score on both sides of that and on the top as well, on all of them. disassemble it and then I'm going to cut those deeper for that spring to sit into. Then with some colourful uh, thin strip, strips of uh, scrap we're going to glue them on each side down the centre line like that and clamp them. Let that dry, 
And now putting it into the vise, I can plane that and also sand it instead of your plane to not risk blunting or damaging your plane blade. You can trim off the points there and sand those flash flush and with a craft knife we can trim this part here give the whole thing a general sanding and there it is ready to do a glamping job